Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn a new feature which has been introduced in Angular 19 in a developer preview and that is nothing but linked signals. So linked signals are in developer preview in Angular 19 and it has many features or advantages of using linked signals. So let's understand the definition of linked signals. So one signal depending on another signal and if you want to do some set of computations on top of this dependent signal then you have to use this linked signals. So I want to break down this linked signal into two parts. One is advanced that is nothing but the high level of linked signals and the basic linked signals. So in this video we will learn how these linked signals will work and how can I compare this linked signals with our computed properties. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, what I want to do is, I want to create a source signal first. So let me create a source signal and this source signal is nothing but I want to go with a signal where I want to have an array of data. So array of data contains ID 1 and the name as Sai and let me go with another one, copy this, put it over here and 2 and this is nothing but Sai Kumar and save this. Now I have two values in this source signal. What I want to do is I want to select the first value and I want to showcase that first value. So then this signal will be a dependent for another signal. So let me go with dependent signal. So let me go with a dependent signal is equal to linked signal. I am using linked signal. So let me go with linked signal and it has to be imported from core. So let me go here into linked signal and this linked signal will have two types of usage. One is the one which only computations which performs only the computation based on your dependent signal. So here my dependent signal will be depending on this source signal. So let me go with a this dot source signal and that source signal should select by default the 0th value. So Whenever my application loads, it has to load all the signals. Once the signal details are loaded, my dependent signal should have the value by default that is equal to the first value of your source signal. Now I want to use this dependent signal on my UI. So let me go with H1 and what I'll do is I'll use something called as dependent signal is equal to I want to show the value of that dependent signal. So dependent signal and it is also a signal by default. So I'm calling it dot ID. So ID is something what I am returning from this source signal. Source signal contains an ID called as one. And instead of showing an ID, you can even show the name for better understanding. So now here we have dependent signal as Sai. Now what I want to do is I want to update my array. So let me go with button. So whenever there is an update on this button, we have to make sure this dependent signal should also update but it is not mandatory on the developer to take care of updating this dependent signal instead it automatically updates because it is attached with the linked signals so whenever there is an update on the source signal automatically our dependent signal will also update so let me go here and update source signal and let me create a click event click is equal to update source signal and copy this method go to the ts let me use this update source signal as a function and this function is responsible to update my source signal source signal dot i want to update that specific whole array so what i can do i can just use a setter or an update of signal to update this particular source signal so let me update this source signal with an array so let me go with the same stuff but this time I want to change the IDs like 2 and 3. So let me go with 3 and 4. Let me go here as Kurtiwada and this as Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. Save this. And now let me go into HTML. Save this. Once I click on this update source signal then my source signal will get updated. Whenever there is an update on the source signal automatically my linked signal will also get updated. So let me go to the browser and when I click this, you can see Kurtiwada. Why it is showing Kurtiwada? Because the first value of this source signal is ID of 3 name of Kurtiwada 
and whenever it updates automatically it gets the first value from that specific array and it will give it to the de dependent signal so that's how your dependent signal will update on the linked signal now you may be getting one question so this same thing can i do with computer properties or computer signals yes we can do it so let me comment this and let me use something called as dependent signal but this dependent signal now it is not a linked signal instead i am using a computer signal so computer signal will also help us to return a callback function and that is nothing but this dot source signal and of zero so whenever there is an update in the source signal then the computation reperforms and it will give the new value so let me import this from our core and save this now let me go here let me click on this now you can see the Kortivada and the same way we have used the linked signals. Then what is the major difference over here? For example, in computed signals, it performs and it recomputes based on the value present inside this specific function or a callback function. But when you want to update this computed signal, it's not possible directly because every computed signal is a read only. You cannot update that specific values directly. Whereas you can do the same thing with the linked signals. Let me show you that. So let me go here and now let me update a button where you have something called as click is equal to update dependent signal off. And let me use update dependent signal and save this. Now let me copy this update dependent and create a new function update dependent signal. Now let me use this dot dependent signal dot i'll use something like set it is not available and if you use update it is also not available because it is having a computed signal so now let me convert this into linked signal so now this dependent signal is a linked signal if you are using a linked signal then that have the features of signal as well that means you can even update that or set a new value for this dependent signal but it's not possible in your computer property computer properties will always depend on its callback function and what are the signals you are using inside that callback function but dependent signal is something like it has two features one is it can be updated by itself and also it can be updated by your linked signals so that's how your dependent signal will help us now that's how your linked signals will help us so let me use a setter value for this and we have to give a proper set value and the proper set value is an object where you can give an id and the id could be something like five and then let me give a name where the name is something like tech share skk and save this now when the user clicks on a specific button that is nothing but updating the dependent signal then it automatically updates your dependent signal whenever the dependent signal is updated it will showcase on this h1 tag let me go here let me click on update source signal when it is updating the source signal then also your dependent signal is updated whenever i am updating the dependent signal then also your dependent signal is getting updated so that is how you can use your linked signals and this is the major difference between this computed signal versus linked signals. So we have many other advantages using linked signals. I'll discuss them in another video where I will discuss only the major complex structure of this linked signals. Here it is a basic structure but we have many other features which gives a complex structure but along with that complex structure you will get lot of features which helps us in our development purpose. So hope this gave you a glance about linked signals and how they work and also the difference between linked signals and computed signals in our Angular 19. And to, I want to make sure that these linked signals are still in developer preview. We can expect some more changes or some more improvements on these linked signals even in the further releases. Hope this gave you a glance and clear understanding about linked signals. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.